Hello, it's another vlog. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, May 10th. We're in the double digits of May already. Well, I wanted to report to you that Mark and I did not work on a space, the shop, which is going to be in this area. We have not worked on that at all because we had other things to do this weekend, but, or this past weekend, but, and then we're going away. So hopefully I'll get something figured out, but I did have some eBay sales overnight. So let me go ahead and pull those things and I'll show you what sold. One of the things <laughs> it is not, it was a great sale, but it's not the funnest thing to ship. Today I also have to do all of my other shipping from my YouTube and my whatnot sales. Both were great fun. Thank you guys so much. If you came, if you purchased something, I do appreciate it. Um, so today is basically all shipping. Um, but I'm going to pull my eBay sales. We're going to ship this one thing and then I'm going to work on all my other shipping. So the vlog at the shop today will, will be very small because I've got all kinds of things that I need to get done today. But I will come back tonight. We'll cook a little home fresh. Um, and we'll visit with Maybell and Mr. Fluffer Pants a little bit tonight. But, okay, I'm walking over here because we're pulling the items that sold. This Jessica, Jekka, Jekka, Jekka Glow Drops, that sold. And then, uh, where did they go? I know people say, oh, Misty, you should organize this way. But believe it or not, oh, no. Where did all those hardware pieces go? Oh, they're right here. Good grief. So one of these single uh, brass door plates sold. I think it's this one. Yeah, it has to be that one. Because that one's a double one. That one's a double one. Those are doubles. And this is a single. So the single one sold. And that. That. That was a great sale. But, you know, that's... It, you know, it, it's not something that I worry about being necessarily damaged because I think I can protect it enough, but it's the box. I did bring one from home that I had in my recycling at home that I think, I hope might work, but we may have to Franken box a little something, but this is the little ice cube tray that went on the inside. So, um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get this shipped. Okay. So I found this box, but like, no, it like, I thought it was going to work. It just like barely. Oh, okay. Well, okay. The search continues. Well, I got the dollhouse shipped. I had to scrounge around for a box and it looks like a Frankenstein, but it is going to ship UPS. That was the cheapest way of going. So that was, that was not fun. That was not fun, but that's, that's done. Uh, just, I'll just have to make an extra trip to the UPS instead of going to USPS for everything. But as I was shipping that, these two books sold, and I just listed them yesterday. No, was it yesterday? It was Tuesday. No, it was Monday. I listed these on Monday. Went to the same person. So the Entertaining with Disney and the Star Wars cookbook. So I will get these shipped out as well. And as I'm switching out my uh, American Bubble Boy bubble wrap, I'll just give this little reminder. American Bubble Boy bubble wrap is where I get all of my um, my bubble wrap. I have you can see it kind of down there, all stacked up a little bit. I have it delivered right here to the shop. It comes in a four pack. It's wonderful. I never have to. I never worry about running out of bubble wrap because it's automatically delivered to me every month. I do have a link where you can save some money if you are in need of some terrific um, bubble, bubble wrap. It is a small business, so they are wonderful. They've got great customer service. So use the link down in the description if you would like your own subscription to American Bubble Boy. I've got some labels to put on boxes. I got my uh, YouTube shipping done. I'm getting ready to get started on my whatnot. That are going out for YouTube. This sold on eBay. And then the buyer sent me a message just now asking to cancel because they thought it was a whale. So that's going to go back up on the shelf for eBay. 
since that was canceled, even though it did say in the listing that it was Hammerhead Shark, but whatever, whatever. I'll go back on the shelf. It's available now. John Perry, Hammerhead Shark. But I'm going to, um, I have to get started on shipping all of these lovely items. So that is on deck. And then I'm going to probably edit a video for my second channel. And then I'm going to start working on making my catalog for my whatnot sale. It's my next whatnot. Now I'm taking all next week off of sales. So my next video or my next whatnot sale. Where's my calendar? Oh, it's right here. My next whatnot sale won't be until the 23rd of May at 5 p.m. That's Tuesday at 5 and it's going to be all vintage and children's books. So I'm going to get that probably cataloged and ready to go so I don't have to worry about it. Um, when I get back and then I did start pulling items for my whatnot or no, my YouTube sale also on that Tuesday. And I'm kind of thinking like Father's Day items. So I've got these really cool, um, I got to get the rest of that tag off. Uh, not, they're not lunch boxes, toolboxes. I actually, this one was in my house. I use it as a riser. I love that color, but I thought maybe people like these metal, these metal toolboxes and stuff they do open I just can't get them open with one hand and then this is that other little miniature cabinet and it has the glass doors that need to be reattached up there but it is missing one door here and then I've started pulling some more items oh, I love that book there some ephemera tales about Timothy we all heard about you Timothy um, these are Cosmos from 1979 and 1980. Um, and then I got like all these cocktail mixers and or stir sticks. I need to kind of go through them. But I've tried to pull things that were like Father's Day-esque. Like this little guy. He might be a Nesco. Ooh, that guy. He's made in Japan. He's got a... This dog reminds me of the dog on The NeverEnding Story. Oh. Doesn't that remind you? What was that dog's name? Doesn't that? That's who he reminds me of. And look at this little guy. He's got hurt. He's a little bulldog. Even his little tail has a bandage on it. Some cameras. Oh, and look at her. Dresden lace. Michael inspired me. He sold a couple Dresden lace pieces. Here you can see. She's so delicate and dainty. The only issue, she's got a couple little... Um, as most of them do when you find them, the lace, there's a couple little missing and broken pieces. It's actual um, fabric that they, or actual lace that they dipped into porcelain to give it that texture. Um, oh, look at these little critters. Look at these. Look at him. He's a little sea otter. He's a little sea otter. And there's a shark. And then there's a viking. Green, epic, six-petal swung vase, and um, a Murano, beautiful Murano bowl, art glass bowl. Oh, and looky here. Look at the little smoke miniature fairy lamp. All those things are going to be available the 23rd. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can ready the next couple of days. That way I can fully enjoy my week off. And not have to, you know, worry about, oh my God, when I get back, I have so much stuff to do. It'll all be ready. Oh, I'm watching Adam the Woo. There. He's one of my favorite people to watch. He got a Slurpee on 7-Eleven Day. I have him on pause right now. And he went to a really cool, like, thrift store. And I'm, I was like, yay. Yay, thrift store. I'm all about that. I'm going to finish getting my shipping done. So, at least can check that off my list. And I still, I, tomorrow I am going to go get a pedicure because I didn't do it last week and I'm gonna have to get some nails put on because I tried my best I've been putting a top coat on them I'm trying to make them just grow out but they keep breaking and they're like down to the nubs so I'm gonna have to get a, a set of nails put on because I can't I'm gonna have like nothing left because they keep breaking off because they're so weak from having you know fake nails on for so long but I gotta have, I gotta do something because it it hurts. It hurts. It's it. I, I have to get them done for my health. That's why. <laughs> anyway, 
So I'm going to do those two things for sure tomorrow. And then, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to get this shipping done first. So I'm on my last item. I'm watching Michael's sale. I jumped in and I bought a, a, a thing or two because I couldn't resist. But I'm on my last item of shipping. So boxes, boxes. I'm still shipping that stuff over there. Boxes, 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 boxes. I'm almost done. It's only taking me. Well, I've I've been a little distracted watching Michael sale, but um, I'm almost done, and I still have to do those other things, and I have boxes to open. I don't know if I'm gonna. I might do that tomorrow. That's one thing that I might do tomorrow morning before I go get my pedicure. Hopefully, maybe camera just did something silly but uh, okay shipping is all done I'm walking up here because guess what as I was I'm getting ready to leave and getting ready to pack things up to leave and guess what I got a little notification that you he sold again so hopefully hopefully Mr. John Perry hammerhead shark your person will pay they haven't paid yet but I'm gonna put you back down on this table don't you be cursed don't you be cursed. That is so weird that, okay. Well, hopefully they will pay. We're going to set you, we'll put you up here. We'll put you in a different location than where I had you. Anyway, I'm getting ready to lug all this stuff to my car. I will take it to the post office in the morning. Well, I'm going to come here in the morning, do a little bit, print off some more labels for the other people that have, will hopefully have paid overnight. Then I've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Ikea bags to load up in my car right now. And then maybe two more by the time tomorrow comes. But I am going to, I think I, I'm going to, I'm going to come here and do all that in the morning. And then I'm going to go get, go to the nail salon and should we go into Riverside? Maybe we'll go into Riverside. I'm going on a trip too. So I need to get laundry done. I need to get packed. I probably will do that on Friday. So, and I think tomorrow, since I'm going to be doing some traveling and things, I might take a couple days off from vlogging. So I think when I come to the shop tomorrow, we'll pick the winner of this girl. Now go back to my video from Sunday night. That's where you can enter to win this. I'll link it down in the description, but no, by the time that you see that, that doesn't make any sense, Misty by the time that this video comes up I've already picked the winner so it doesn't matter but I, but I will pick a winner tomorrow <laughs> I guess that's what I tried to say now I'm gonna get my car loaded up and go home and get started on dinner I'm, I'm gonna make a home chef recipe it's like a some kind of chicken something for Mark and Dad, and then I'll have Amy's enchiladas like I typically do. But, all right, let's go. Oh, I was getting ready to leave. Hot diggity dog. I'm going to move you. Now, I'm not going to ship it till tomorrow because I'm getting ready to walk up the door, but they paid. You're not cursed. Hammerhead, John Perry, Hammerhead, you're going to go to your new home. To, but tomorrow, because I have to go because I'm walking out the door now. Well, I am home now. Mark is mowing the grass. Maybelle was acting like a fool. She's out back now. Oh, good. But today, her episode today was elevated times 20. My, my ears are still ringing. But today's home chef recipe is honey garlic chicken with broccoli and carrots. I'm not a big Asian food eater, so I am not going to be eating that. I'm going to be eating this. Amy's enchiladas, but let me show you. It's actually really pretty easy to make. Um, the great thing about Home Chef is that it gives you, everything is all pre-portioned out and it just kind of tells you step by step, you can't even see that, step by step what to do. Um, and then, you know, I cooked the broccoli and the carrots and steamed them a little bit and then the garlic and honey chicken is right there. So dad's already eating his. Let me go see how he thought of it. Dad likes to eat in his room. <laughs> what do you think, dad? It's good. I like it. You really like well. it? Mm -hmm. Is it chicken flavorful and stuff? It is. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hi. I'm going to have Amy's enchiladas. 
Amy's enchiladas. Another thing too I'm gonna try, I just got these in the mail. These, this is from a company, um, Earth Breeze, and they have these laundry detergent echo sheets. So apparently there are 60, 60 loads of laundry in here. I will, I do have a code that I will link down in the description, but you take a sheet according to your size. Let me show you. It says, take a sheet according to size for top load washers, place sheet inside. And then I have a front load, but I'm like, I think I'm just going to put it inside. It says to put it in the detergent dispenser. I, I don't know. I think I might try to put it in with the laundry. But anyway, it says that you can use a half a sheet for a medium load, one sheet for a large load, and two sheets for a heavily soiled. I probably, I usually put in a large load, so I probably will just go ahead and put in one sheet. But here is the little QR code if you wanted some more information. But it says for every pack of Earth Breeze Echo Sheets sold, we donate 10 loads of laundry detergent to nonprofit shelters and charities. So that's wonderful. So check out Earth Breeze Laundry Detergent. They did send me um, the fresh scent and the fragrance free. But um, yeah, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to start a load of laundry and uh, we'll see how this works. Mr. Fluffer Pants, are you going to help me with the laundry? Huh? You, 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 his food is on top of the washing dryer, so he's like, uh, you're walking close to my food, lady. I demand sustenance. Oh, you're going to get that scratchy post. Okay, these are what the sheets look like. They kind of look like a uh, fabric softener sheet, so you can just tear it in half if you just want to use one. So I am going to uh, use a full sheet into this load. While I'm thinking of it, I wanted to show you my little cubie dolls I've got up there. That's the one that I just opened up in the last vlog. A and or Amy sent me that one from, uh, from Jean. And then I've got these other ones here. I've actually sold a lot of my cupies. Um, I did just get those in Ohio, the little riding grooms, but doodle dog, doodle dog, doodle dog, doodle dog. Look at that itty bitty one right there. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday, May 11th. We still have to wrap. They paid. Well, I already told you that yesterday, but they paid. You're not cursed. But I had one more thing that sold overnight on eBay. Actually, two, I, no, just one. No. I think I had another thing that, let me check. No, I was right the first time. I thought I had something that someone had paid for, but no, I don't. We sold this little, I think it's called like dancing flowers or something or other. I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen, but I had two of them and this is the last one um, that sold. So I will get these out. Still waiting on some people to pay from the YouTube sale. I'm really hoping that stuff gets paid for before I leave because I'm going to be gone for a week. I'm going to get those done. I'm going to get my nails done today, but I may have to come back in here to print off more labels. I have to go to the post office, but I'm really kind of holding out so I don't have to make multiple trips to the post office. So that's the only kind of, that's the great thing about what, that's like the great thing about whatnot is that I don't have to wait around. If I, after I have my sale, everything is already paid for, I can take it to the post office right then and there. On the YouTube sales, I got to wait around for payment to be made. So that's the, that's, that's the bummer of the YouTube sales. I'm just saying, I'm really liking the whole process of the whatnot sales because I don't have to wait around for payment to be made. Okay. I also have some boxes to open. So let me get these done and then we'll open those boxes hello it's another vlog and another vlog of me opening up boxes that people have sent to me oh that was get it together bell you need to ring properly but okay i'm getting myself adjusted here let me just show you when i tell you during the live sales that i don't want to touch my cord i'll show you what i mean look at that so i have I, if i touch them they get, and I've organized them many, many times. I really, really have. But like, I've got my microphone and, and like, that's the camera that I use. And then the, the cords to the lights, the cords to my cameras, all that, all the cords. 
But if I touch them, then they go haywire. All right, I got three boxes right here. This first one's from Amazon. Amazon Fulfillment. So I'm hoping that they're... I'm need, you need to go on a different table, too. Hang on. I'm going to move you back a little bit. Uh, ooh. There we go. Are you okay? Now you're too far away. You're too far away. Well, gosh darn it. I just bang around things so much that you go for a little run. Oh, I know. I forgot. See? Ouch! Suzanne Sharp sent me this box. And she even sent me an email and said, I sent you a box from Amazon. And I've already... Oh, my gosh. Suzanne! Ouch! She sent me a Squishmallow. When is this one? This is Tahoe. It's a little calico kitty cat. It's like Mutter Kitty. It's like Mutter Kitty. If you have never squeezed a Squishmallow, go to your store. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to. Squeeze. They're so soft. So this is Tahoe. Let's read Tahoe's story. Tahoe was born on... Uh, April 18th, 2022. Oh my gosh, Tahoe. Can hardly read, it's so small. No hill is too steep for Tahoe. In fact, this cat prefers to bike on an incline. You go, Tahoe. She leaves home every morning to go on a hilly five-mile bike ride and can see the whole neighborhood from the top. Think you can pedal it out with Tahoe? No, I don't think I can, Tahoe. Well, Tahoe is likes... Tahoe likes her bike riding. That's the cute thing, too, about the Squishmallows. They got a little backstory and a birthday. Here's the, the things. Th for you, Misty, relax in knowing your first antique excursion was an awesome success. Lots of love and hugs. Miss you already from Suzanne. Ouch! Sharp. So she sent this. Oh, it's coming out of its box. It's a bed, buddy. Thank you, Suzanne, for my bed, buddy. Deep, soothing, hot, and cold pack. Provides natural, moist aromatherapy. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. What do you do? Oh, it has moist heat. Lightly scented with rose, lavender, orange, and cherry blossom. Is this one that you put in the microwave? Do you put it in the microwave? Oh, here we go. Yeah, you put it in the microwave. Microwave bed buddy on a clean, empty microwave safe dish for one minute and 15 seconds. Do not leave bed buddy unattended while heating. Why? Will it explode? Always touch test by shifting contents. So one minute, one minute 15 seconds for bed buddy. It does smell good. Oh, look. Oh, look. Suzanne also said Bed Buddy has another, has an accessory. It's a comfort wrap. Microwave for soothing, moist heat or chill for a soothing compress. Ooh, that one smells good too. So one for me and one for Mark. Suzanne, that was so sweet. I'll definitely use those. That was so sweet. Thank you so much. I miss you already. All right, I have another box here from Lisa with an S. I think she lives in Missouri. We got to open it carefully. Has to not cut what's inside. Oh my, oh my. There's ephemera in here. Oh, look at that big stocking. It's a bake-off of cookie favorites. This is great for package toppers, little recipe cards. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. So she, did you do this, Lisa? On each of these little packets, they've got an, there's an index as to all these little recipes that are inside. It says 20 cake recipes from the 1960s and the 1980s. Holiday cake. Civil War cake, bridge cake, gold. They're all indexed. This one is 13 salads. Oh, I like an overnight salad. Cranberry salad, golden apple salad, dream whip salad. This one is bread recipes from the 1960s to the 1980s. Breakfast, 
zucchini. We call zucchini zucchini bread because that's what Jaden always called it when he was little. Potato pancakes. Yum. 19 recipes. Spanish beans, broccoli soup, mushroom casserole. But she's indexed them all. I love, I love going through recipes. Do you do? Do you like doing that too? Even if I may not make any of the recipes, I like recipe books and I like to look through the recipes. I'm, I always, I'm always hopeful that I'm going to try to make them. But I, that doesn't happen very often. Oh um, my, it's Little Orphan Annie. Look, it's the Ovaltine. Well, L Little Orphan Annie has been up for five days and five nights, it looks like in that little picture there. She, and he's the culprit. I kept her up all night. You did, Sandy. So this is Little Orphan Annie's song with the compliments of Ovaltine and Radio's Orphan Annie. Gather closer, boys and girls. Mustn't make a bit of noise, for we all will hear our little orphan Annie. Everybody loves this miss. A happy little girl this is this. Come lend an ear to little orphan Annie. I love that. And then, oh my gosh, we've got from 1934, the Stage Magazine. Oh, I can't get into you. You're taped up. So September 1934, the Stage over 50 years of operetta in America. Oh my gosh, there's some Gibson girls there. Billy Rose brings old time vaudeville back to Broadway. Oh look, the fat girls and have their own ballet. Well, isn't that nice? That was a nice of them to let them. Boy, time, I'm so, there are certain things that it's, we're, we're, we're glad that times have changed, but these reminisce, reminiscing catalogs, I have seen these before. These are fun. They are the magazine that brings back good times. These are fun to look, look through. Uh, recollections of days gone by from people across the country. These are really, really fun to look through. Oh, look. They made their dress. Look, it's Ariana in her little potato sack dress. And they made aprons and shorts. That's fun. The potato, not potato sack, more like feed sacks. And then we've got old stuff uh, about old times that everybody loves. Oh, the sin. Sational. May West. Ha, yeah, ha. She was something else. Man, she, again, Mae West, she was like 60. No, I'm 21. She like wrote herself. Well, she wrote the play and like in the 60s and she was like in her 60s and she was like, she played the role of like a 21 year old. Those, that's really cool. And then we've got friend, the Friendly Village. The Friendly Village. The Alice and Jerry books. This one is a reader from 1941. And then we also have, this is really cool. This is Bugs Bunny. He's 50, folks. What is this from? Gallery of Greetings from Batman, Snoopy Garfield, Dag Dagwood, and The Simpson. This one has to be from the 90s, I'm going to say. 1990? That's cool. This doc ain't no collaring book. It's fun to look through these. Oh, look at that. There's, we've got a cell in here. Like a movie cell. This, these are fun to look at sometimes. The Oh! Look. A new batch is on its way. Uh, the gremlins. Don't feed them after midnight. And whatever you do, don't get them wet. My gosh, look at these Looney Tunes watches. That's what I was saying. It's fun to see like the fashions and stuff that were in here. Like, okay, like look at this. Look at all the money that's on those shirts that would sell in today's market. Lots of money those shirts would sell for. Tiny Tunes Adventures, come and join the fun. And now our song is done. I hope I got that right because I sometimes will merge different memories of shows and stuff. It, and it does, it's like, I like I get shirt tails, the shirt tails song and duck tails all confused. Lisa, that was a treat. Thank you so very much. That's going to be really fun. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a note. Wouldn't you know, Misty, you would find the note at the very end. 
Well, Lisa, Lisa says in her note that her husband's wanting her to just get rid of stuff. She's just starting her reselling journey. And, you know, it does take time. It does take time. My best tip of advice with reselling on eBay, on whatnot, is to just stay consistent and don't give up. You're going to have good month sales. You're going to have bad sales. You might have sales. I have sold things that I pretty much paid what I made what I paid for it. So it's always a risk that you take. Um, but just don't give up. Just keep with it. Calm down. Have a dedicated space. Put yourself on a buying freeze. I didn't go shopping for a month. For a month. And now my shelves are getting a little bit bare. So now I've got to go shopping again. Thank you, Lisa. That was very, very sweet. I'm going to have a lot of fun going through those. All right, this next box is from Susan, and she lives in Pennsylvania. It's a big box, Susan. Get in. The, oh, the note's right on top. Misty. She made it to where I will not miss that. So thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. I just get a little excited sometimes. But she said, this is an assortment of things I thought, this is an assortment of things I thought you might like. I found while going through my mom and dad's boxes. They passed away in 2008, five months apart. Oh my gosh, bless their hearts. My brother and I packed up what we decided to keep. It's been my bro it's been in my bro brother's basement until recently. She said that she included notes with explanations, also a blind bag. Below, I'm giving you a list of thrift and antique stores around Naples the next time you get there. Okay, I gotta go out and get out there sometime and visit my mom. Hopefully, you're having some beautiful spring weather to enjoy. Oh, this is from Snowbird. Aw, Snowbird. See, I, sometimes I'm like, I make the connections of, I, I just see you by your YouTube name, and then it's good that now I know that you're Susan Snowbird. So, let's see. And Susan said that she included some little notations to describe, so that's good. All right, here's the first thing. Ooh, this packing material is nice. Oh, how cute is this? It's a little, it's in this little frame. This little boy blowing his horn. Lowell. It says Lowell 1922. That is cute. Ooh, that paper is nice. Oh, this might be another frame. It might be a whole little series. Aw, look. So we've got the little boy blowing his horn and the little girl, she's a little ballerina. Those are really adorable. Oh, we've got another one. Well, she's playing the saxophone. This is like a whole child band. Oh, but wait. But wait. Oh, we've got a drummer. He is going to town on those drums. Those are really, really cute. Oh my gosh, there's, there's two more. We got the whole band. Look, she's playing the piano. Wouldn't these look so cute in a music room? And we've got another little ballerina, aw. So we've got the band, where'd the other ballerina go? And these are like chalkware frames. And we've got the two little ballerinas. Those are really cute, Susan. Okay, so this is for when you visit your mom, St. Matthews is a great thrift store in Naples. And she's given me I think I've been to St. Matthew's. I think she's giving my mom's probably watching saying, yeah, she needs to come out and visit. All right. Okay. She said two frames with postcards. One frame needs some work, but I thought Mark could take care of it. Probably. He usually, he could fix just about anything that guy can. Last night, I got to get him out of my bag, but I bought some little composite babies that all of their legs and arms were off. And we, he, he bought some um, string, elastic string, and he restrung them all. So yeah, he can fix about everything. Ooh, all this packing material too is great, Susan. Oh, these are little Hummel postcards. Look at those. Those are cute. Yeah, the frame. All you gotta do is put a little, little nail right in there on that side and it'll hold it back. But those are darling. Look, she's cutting his little hair. Two wonder books. For some reason, I wrote my maiden name on them. This is the, the turkin goose. Part chicken, turkey, and duck. That's turducken. 
isn't that turducken? People make tur they actually make that. The story of Turk and Deuce. Part chicken, turkey, duck, and goose. The barnyard buzzed with excitement. There was a new egg in the hen house. But what an egg! The chicken, the turkey, the duck, and the goose agreed. It was the oddest egg they've ever seen. What's going on in this barnyard? Hmm. The egg was so special that it took a long time to, to hatch. There are some shenanigans. But look, there he is. He's part chicken, part duck, and part goose. Chirkin. Chirkin goose. Anyway, and then we've got Peter Cottontail and Reddy Fox. He's ready to eat. Aw. By Thornton Burgess. Pictures by Mary and Carl Hogue. There's the fox wanting to eat the rabbit. All right. And now we've got various postcards. The London is a trip I took when I was 16. So these were all like, so these were Susan's books when she was little. And, and Susan's postcards. Various different postcards. Souvenir book, picture book of London. They're all like travel, travel postcards. Those will be fun. I'll probably put use these as package choppers. Oh, look at this one. This is in Hawaii. Those are fun. Those are fun. I'll, I'll use those as package choppers on people's packages. Various cards. Mark is my brother. I don't know where my car, where my cards are. The second child, I was the second child, but I, and I'm sure I was sent cards. So these were her brother's cards. Oh my gosh, and her parents kept them after all these years. Mother and daddy with the new baby. It looks like they was kept in a scrapbook. All on Father's Day. These are sweet. Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, love Mark and Susan. Oh my gosh. Today, clown Susan. Today you're six. Oh my gosh, look at these little to mommy and daddy on their anniversary. They're little yarn people. These are so sweet. Love Mark and Susan. Mommy and Daddy's Anna. These are precious. And then this says playing card holder, probably for Jen Rummy. Rummy. Definitely from the 1950s. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That marbled plastic. That's fun. Gin Rummy. And then oh, here's the blind bag. Puppy Fantasy. I've not seen this one before. Discover what they wished for inside. Surprise inside. I've never seen. It. Well, let's open it up. Oh, it's Wishkins. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see. It's a little rocky. Dun 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 dun. He's got look, he's got a little New York City hat. So that sits on his head. And then he has these little sunglasses. Oh, he's a pug. It says he's a pug. My wish is to be, is his wish is hip hop stardom. Well, Rocky, I think that you are on your way. Let me pop a Smurf and baby Smurf. It says that they must have been her kids. Michael loves the Smurfs. He has like all of them. Like all of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! La 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 la. Look at Papa and Baby Smurf. They are Schlage, Germany. This one's 2004, and Baby is made. Baby is made in China. I don't. Payo. I think that one says 79. Baby Smurf. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. I love, love the Smurf. This says, my mom's skirt hangers must have been from the 50s. I remember them always being in her closet. Oh, look at those like bubblegum pink. Do you know what these are? These look really, really nice. If you have some ephemera, like children's book pages, you know what? Let me go get one and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, well, the ones that I was looking for, I can't find. So, but this gives you an idea. But you could hang the hangers on your wall. And then you could hang different pieces of ephemera from it. And you can change it out. So, it's sort of like the sheet music. 
but um, you know, you can, this, this is a little small, but you know, this beautiful children's book, like if you buy a children's book and it's kind of really kind of falling apart using a hanger and this one's great because it's got that bubblegum pink. You know what? I think I'm going to take these home and I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do with them. Now I just got to find all those. I have a whole box full of those kinds of things and I don't know where I've put them. So I've walked around for entirely way too long looking for them, but I'm going to have to try to find them again. But you, you get what I'm saying. So those are great. Those are great, Susan. Thank you so very much. That was so kind of you. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to Lisa and thank you to, to Suzanne. Very, very sweet of you. I really do appreciate it. You don't ever have to send me anything, but it's always a lot of fun to see the things that you guys think that think of me and decide to put in a box and send them to me. I really do appreciate it. Um, and it's always my hope that I can, I'm either going to keep the things or I can find an appropriate home for them so they can be enjoyed um, longer. And it's kind of like someone's things that they can kind of live on um, in the care of somebody else. Because, you know, not everybody, like all the things that I have, I am certain my children are not going to want. So it's good to know that when I'm long gone, some of the things that I've loved and cherished will be able to be get put back into the appropriate hands again of somebody that's going to display it and enjoy it as well. So I guess when you look at it that way, it doesn't make it seem as sad. It's like, it's like these things are, their legacies are living on and being enjoyed still, maybe by somebody else, but still they're being enjoyed. And I think that's, that's kind of the most important thing. But thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pick the winner of the little thing, the little, the little thing. You know what? I can just take you with me because you're on a tripod, a handheld tripod. So we can just go over here. We're going to pick the winner of this girl. And I'm picking the winner out of the people who commented on last Sunday's video. Here's the deal. I'm going on a trip. Um, I'm going to be vlogging. I think I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I'm just going to take the week off of vlogging. I do have some other content that I can, that I'm planning on putting up, but I, I may not vlog. I don't know. I may just not vlog and, and, and just enjoy, enjoy where, where I'm going to be. I'm not really announcing where I'm going to be. I am going to be in, in Ohio at the extravaganza next weekend. So that I will be, I will be in Ohio next weekend, but I'm going to travel with Mark. Um, he has a conference for work and I'm just going to tag along and do some, some picking in an area that I've not been before, but I don't really want to say where, because I kind of just want to have the freedom of just going and not really having to people message me and and it's not that I don't want to meet up with people but sometimes you just kind of want to go and not have to worry about disappointing people I think that's more along the lines but I just kind of want to go and kind of explore and um and 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 just enjoy enjoy myself so and just enjoying the week off basically um, I'm still going to be shopping and filming shopping and that sort of stuff. And then Mark and I, once we can meet back up again in the evenings, have dinner and just kind of have an enjoyable a little break from having live sales. So um, I will be filming some videos there, but I'm not certain yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to be vlogging or not. I might just take the week off of vlogging. But um, so that's why we're doing a giveaway a little early. And it's going to be this lovely lady here in this beautiful frame. Sorry about the glare, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up the random comment picker and we'll give, we will give her away. All you have to do though, if I, when I, once I call your name, please with, I must hear from you within seven days. It might be a little bit longer this time since I'll be gone next week. So I can send you out your, your prize. And if I don't hear back from you, then I'm going to just probably give it away to somebody else, but watch those vlogs. So you can know if you've won. I will put it in the community tab as well. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog so I can get it edited and up. Um, it's Friday for you. 
Uh, so go over and enjoy Real Nifty Vintage sale. It has a sale tonight at, I think, 7.30, 7.30 Eastern? I'm pretty sure it's 7.30 Eastern. I'm going to be on Friday running around, getting things packed and ready to go for my trip. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. They don't, I know that they, people don't really, they much prefer a shop with me video much more than these vlogs, but um, I'm trying to not spend as much money every week. And I'm still going shopping and I'm still putting those out. And you're going to be in it for a treat because next week it's pretty much all shop with me videos. So, um, you know, just kind of spice, or variety is the spice of life, right? It's, it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure Joanne, Joanne F., that you send me your information. I just need you to send it to this email address right down there and I will get you your, your lovely lady. Don't forget that I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I am going to edit a video today that's going to go up over there and I do a lot of unboxings and blind bags and just a lot of fun stuff that isn't reselling related. I will not be having any live sales next week, but Michael is still having a mega sale Tuesday, one o'clock Eastern on his channel, The Cult of Vintage. He's also having a Tiny Treasures dollhouse sale this Sunday at, I think, 7 p.m. Eastern over on The Cult of Vintage. He and Richard are selling a bunch of little dollhouse pieces, and he's going to be having some great mystery boxes. So go check out his sale Friday night as well. And if you're going to be in Ohio next weekend, maybe I'll see you there. I'm going to be there all weekend at the extravaganza. So hope that you can come. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, friends. Just reminding you that I do have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come and subscribe. And another reminder that I do have live sales every Tuesday right here on YouTube at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And then at 5 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. The link to all of my sales are in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Analyst, I miss my guess the boys are following me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, put his hair in.